All right, calculus students, here we have f of x is the square root of x, and we want to compute the derivative of f of x, f prime of x. So what I'm going to do here is write my limit definition. So this is once again called the difference quotient. So it's really just a slope formula. So that's the difference in the y's. And this is the difference in the x's, um, so it's x plus h minus x, but just the h survives. So it's just a quick reminder of that. And now uh, I'm going to plug in my values here. And so if we have x plus h, I have to put x plus h into that function. So that looks like this. And I just put x into the function, and that simply looks like that. OK. Now we have to uh, cope with this uh, radical in the um, numerator. And the way we're going to do that is um, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. So I'm going to put this in parentheses. And now I'm going to multiply by the conjugate here. Now the conjugate is this expression, this difference. Um, but instead of minus, um, it will no longer be a difference. It's going to be a sum. I'll put both those in parentheses. Then you see what's going to happen is we're going to get a difference of squares in the numerator. And in the denominator, we're just going to carry through that term. So I'll back this up. So we have the limit as h goes to 0. And then the top, if I FOIL this, um, that'll be that squared. So square root of x plus h squared, but that's just um, x plus h. The middle terms will cancel because you get a minus root x, root x plus h, and a plus root x root x plus h. So they're going to they're going to cancel with each other. So I'm left with a minus times a plus is a minus and root x times root x is just simply x. In the denominator, the h carries and I just bring this conjugate term over. So notice that I haven't changed the value of the limit because I've just multiplied it by 1. So it looks different, but the value is not changed. Okay, I carry my limit down. Now I look over here and I see, oh yeah, my x is canceled. So now I'm just left with an h in the numerator, an h in the denominator. And now my h's will cancel. And I carry my limit down. Now when these h's cancel, that's not a 0. This is now 1. h goes into h one time. So I have a 1 there. Now I evaluate this limit. I let h go to 0. Well, the x's aren't going to 0. They're not going to change. It's h that is changing. So that h is 0, so I just plug in 0 for that h. Now that I evaluate the limit, I can drop the limit symbol. So I have x plus 0. And that is just simply the square root of x plus the square root of x. But that's two square roots of x. So I have f prime of x is equal to 1 over 2 root x. And you could just leave it in that form for now. You don't have to rationalize the denominator. So if f of x is the square root of x, then f prime of x is 1 over 2 root x. Okay, good luck.